So I've just set up this very Keith Robinson kind of brazing hearth arrangement, which is no more than some of these heat retaining blocks from the local wholesalers. And just before I heat this disc up, I'm just going to knock off any birds that were formed whilst we were grinding it last time on the sanding machine. They don't really need doing because at the end of the day some of this diameter will be cut off because I made this oversized but nevertheless whilst I have the opportunity to get rid of these bears easily I may as well There we go That's fine enough so that can go into the brazing hearth and then we'll heat that up I'm just going to be using this 6 kilogram propane bottle with a sievert torch with a 2942 head on it and I've got the hose pipe at the ready in case of any accidents and we need to extinguish any fires or anything quickly so let's see how we go with this so I've prepared this bucket of water and when I've heated this disc up, I'll simply quench it in the water like that, holding it with a pair of pliers, and that will shake off any carbon and such that gets on here during the heating process. I'm just going to be wearing my goggles as well, just in case any sparks or anything start bouncing back from here or any dust starts getting kicked back. And I'm going to see how I go on with this torch. I may need to invest in a longer neck here, such that the burner isn't quite so close to my hand. So I've lit the torch with this lighter. Turning it to gas. And straight away it's blown itself out and that's probably because within this enclosed environment the blower the burner has actually burned out the oxygen that's in that area but we'll see how we go on some of these burners have an in an air intake back here such that it doesn't extinguish the flame so we'll see how we go on Again, it's blowing itself out.
so in truth that was really quite uncomfortable on the bare hands so I think I'll wear some gloves next time And I was trying to retain the orangey glow about it for uh, a short time whilst in the process of that. But we can quite clearly see that the bright copper has now turned to black. So I'll now pop that into the bucket and uh, a lot of this blackness will probably shatter off as it were. We'll see. Let's go and have a look. So I'll pop this in. It's cooled to black colour but it's still hot in itself. You can see that the water has crinkled off the black carbon deposits that I was talking about earlier. quite cold to the touch now not as nice looking as it once was but let's get cracked on with it <laughs> 